So this is just one of those off the wall questions <laughs> that I'm so interested in that I, I just have to ask. So is it true that girls who have a flatter ass, it like is very painful for guys to do doggy style because they say something about the tailbone hits their pelvis when they're doing the doggy see, style. See, 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 see wait, 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 <laughs> wait, <laughs> wait see, okay, the question was, you know, just in case y'all didn't hear this, um, by the way, when I post this, I'm not editing anything. I'm just going to post it straight to YouTube without any kind of edits or anything like that. Um, well, it looks like it's past 10 minutes, so I might have to cut some stuff out. Or not. I'd probably just do part one, part two. Anyway, the question was, um, if a girl has a flat ass, um, does it necessarily... Uh, is it painful for a man to do doggy style because, you know, of the tailbone getting in their way or whatever? This is a myth. This is a myth made up by people, or should I say, men with little penises. It happens. <laughs> like, if you can successfully make contact with her tailbone with your pelvis, that means your meats are small or she's a whore and she's too loose. There should be no way in the world that you should be able to make that contact right there without her being hurt or whatever. I personally have never had that problem. Um, <laughs> I've never made contact with the tailbone before. It's uh, and if you think about it, no matter how big your ass is, it's still flat right there in the middle. So you're going to make contact. You, you would make contact with that anyway if you have small penis. Um, me personally, I don't have that problem, so I don't know. But the, you would say that it was harder for a guy with a small penis to have sex with someone with a bigger ass. Yes, it's definitely harder for a man with a smaller penis to have sex with a girl with a bigger ass because, you know, you can't get in there. <laughs> or you think you're in there and, you know, you start to moan and start doing all that shit like, oh, yeah, you like that girl? She'd be like, what? All you get is friction from booty cheeks. That's it. Um, once again, I've never had that problem, so I don't, I can't really speak from experience. So uh, I can only crack jokes about it. I'm sorry. <laughs> And you hear it from guys with small penises, yes. You would never know because, well, at least I wouldn't ever know because I haven't ever been there. So what do you think about women who have sex frequently? Just almost like a dude, I want to say. Like, what, some, what are you saying? Uh, let, me, let me correct you. Almost like some dudes because some not, dudes, not all sorry, dudes have sorry. sex regularly, you know, sex with myself. Um... A girl that has sex frequently, I mean, it's to each his own. Like, it all depends on if she's having sex with, you know, a bunch of different random guys or it's, you know, just that one person. Because, I mean, you know, when I was in a relationship, I was having sex every day. Every day of the week, it was, it was sex. So, I mean, it's, it all depends on, you know, the circumstances. Like, if you're just having sex with just a bunch of random guys, you know, a different guy each and different... That's, that's the answer I want. <laughs> okay. So, I mean, if you're having sex with, you know, a chick that's, uh, you know, if this chick is having, having sex, like, every, you know, like, frequently with a whole bunch of different guys, um, I believe that it's either, either she's a porn star, you know, which, I mean, that's still kind of not okay, but, yeah, you know, I respect the hustle, whatever. Or, you know, she's just, like, she wants that attention, and she feels like the only way to get that attention is through her body. And those are not the kind of girls I like. Like I, I don't want a girl that you know thrives on attention. Like you know, I'll give you, I'll give the right girl all my attention for you know, for the rest of my life for eternity. But like, if you're just you know wanting you know, just attention from everybody, like this person, that person, this person, and you think that the only way that you're going to get that attention is from, you know, having, you know, sex or, you know, giving head to this person or that person, it's like, you know, at the end of the day, what do you have? You're still empty. You're still going home alone. You're still, you know, going to be by yourself. And you're also known as that girl 
that you know can do this or that can do that. So you have an extended what I like to call you have an extended Carfax. Um, <laughs> you now have an extended Carfax report. Me personally, I don't like a girl that has you know an extended Carfax report. I don't like a girl that you know can give me a bunch of references. You know, like like when she submit a resume, like it has a bunch of references. Yeah, oh yeah, she likes it like this and she likes it like that. I don't like it. But um, you know, I don't know. That's just me personally. I hope that answered your question. Yeah, yeah. So then, what do you do when you end up with a girl that you did not know was like super like? What do you mean by end up with her? Like, say, you know, she has substance, she has some kind of depth to her, she's not, you know, she's easy on the eyes, you go home with her and then you instantly find out that, hey, you know, she's been used very frequently. Oh, like, 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 she's like, 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 <laughs> like, 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 she's a lemon? Yeah. Um, you know, well... There's had there had to been like some kind of mental connection and it's like if you know I don't know if if she's that deep like you know to where she can you know actually get to that stage with me then it's like I don't think that she would be like that unless she is putting on a hell of a show because I can I can I can smell bullshit from a mile away but um I don't know I've never, I've never had that happen. It's just a hypothetical. Yeah, I've, I've never, I can't really speak from experience on that one. I've never, I've never had a, a loose vagina before. Wow. I don't know. So, well, that's good to know. <laughs> I've never had. I mean, I don't I've never had a loose vagina. Yeah, I said it. Well, the only reason I was asking because a lot of people say if a girl is loose, you mean you can't feel anything as far as the male. Like, that is another myth made up by men like with small like penises. <laughs> I don't care what nobody <laughs> says. Like, if you are inside, you know, if you are inside a woman, like, you are going to feel everything. Or is it just me? I, I don't think it's just me. But, like, unless you're, like, super tiny or, like, you're, like, you know, a pencil or something like that, you're not going to feel anything. But I don't see... I don't see what they're talking about, me personally. I've never been in, you know, that situation and had, like, you know, holy shit, I fell in. Like, no, I've never, <laughs> no, I've never had that before. I don't, I don't, I believe that it's a myth, and until it's proven to me, it will be, remain a myth that is only used as an excuse by men with small penises. Yes, that's what I say. That's just my opinion. You know, whoever doesn't like it, don't care. Any more questions? <laughs> I feel like every question I ask is a myth question. Like, I, really I mean, I, I, if you want to know, you want to know. I, I'll tell you. I, well, I mean, I'll tell you from, you know, Your my personal person. experience or, you know, how I feel about the situation. Oh, this is a good one. Blondes, brunettes. <laughs> what about them? Blinds and brunettes is nothing but hair color. Oh, you're not one of those people because, you know, there are people who are like, I like the blonde girl or I like the brunette. I would actually, I don't know, I would actually prefer a woman with darker hair because, I don't know, it's just, it's aesthetically pleasing to my eyes as far as, like, you know, like a woman with dark hair, how it contrasts, you know, her eyes. But, I mean, then again, there's some women with blonde hair that, you know, have really bright eyes that, you know, it just kind of sets it off. I mean, it all depends on your whole setup. Me personally, one thing I do not like, and I will tell you right now, is red lipstick. It drives me bananas. I can't stand <laughs> it. Like, it just looks weird on everybody like to me. Yeah, it's just like, it's just like, it like skews me out. I don't know what it is.